Well, I was uh, running some errands up in uh, Oildale, which is the northern north part of Bakersfield. Was gonna head over to the BNSF and uh, catch some. Uh, see if I'd catch some trains over there, and I saw the Famosa local leaving Bakersfield. So I thought, oh, let's come out here and see what they're up to. And we are at Lairdo. Where they serve the uh, back over there. I've done video, a couple of videos here, at least one from here. They have a big uh, agricultural uh, fruit uh, processing packing plant over there that they serve. That is Zerka Road, right there. And then they also serve out here this big. Uh, plant here, I can't remember what it's called, but they make uh, roofing material for, uh, and they make a lot of it. GAF, that's who it is. This used to be where the uh, rancher's cotton oil place was, where they produce cotton oil. But it, that hasn't been there for a long time. There used to be a big cotton gin right there on the other side of the overpass, but that's been gone forever as well. So, uh, yeah. And there is a another roofing uh, plant here, GMC, that makes roofing material, but it's not served by the trains. Looks like these guys are going out to the... Uh, materials plant the roofing material GAF sorry I got distracted had a text message come up while I was doing this as you can see everything's really green right now we've had a pretty good amount of rain in the last four or five days the weather's really nice it's cool it's not warm at all and it's not cold it's just actually kind of nice let's go over here and see if we can get a better shot of what these guys are doing well I started walking over here and uh, they just headed back out so I'm not sure what's going on there's a switch, okay, I was gonna say there's a switch right about there where they're stopping. There, you see the gentleman out throwing the switch. And you, uh, trainmen are gonna have to remind me what they call that position, if that's a switchman conductor or if it's just a switchman I, I i can't remember i know you've told me before but i honestly don't remember sorry i have a terrible memory since covid and that's a fact and i never remember to write things down but as i've said before I like giving uh, my viewers the opportunity to show off their knowledge too. Teaches us all something.
guess they just needed to move that uh, other car out of their way, I guess. I don't know. You know me. I love to speculate. I guess they needed to switch them around or something. If you look back in there, you can see the loading facility there where they load the cars up or unload them, I guess it would be. They unload the cars with the stuff they need to make the roofing material. You can see the, uh, there's one there and there's one over on the other side as well. The uh, little units that the uh, company, that GEF, uses to move these cars around as they need.
here they're just shuttling cars around. You would think that they, I don't know, I would think they could have done that with their little yard movers or whatever they call those things. But I guess not. And I don't know what the capacity of those uh, small units are. I don't know. You know. Maybe they can't move these. Maybe they can't move a string of loaded cars around. Uh, I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments below. Switching, as I've said it before, switching has always kind of amazed me because I don't know what they're doing. And I don't know how they figure all this out and where to put cars and locals when they leave the yard or when they're doing things like this, why they're putting cars where. I know there's a method to their madness and uh, I really appreciate their ability to get all that figured out and keep it straight and uh, do it very efficiently as you notice there's not much wasted time they don't spend a lot of time stopped up to that for the switch oh, maybe we're gonna pick up these box cars and that would appear to be what they're gonna do the uh, gentleman that was off throwing the switches and whatnot so they're on the front of the train now got off and uh, released the brakes that have been set on those box cars it looks like I'm not sure what they're doing because he's still on the front of the train right there I don't know. I guess there was no brake set on the other ones.
stop right here. We'll wait till the gates go down. This is an island only. Got that they do serve this uh, place over here as well. That's why you don't want to stand too close to the tracks. Like they're just going to back up here and go hook up to their train. So let's go over there and check that out. Got this manifest going by here, southbound on the main. There are no crossings or any reason for a train to have to sound its horn on the main around here. So I didn't even notice him until I. Uh, Turn around, start to get my truck. up to their train but I don't know if that's what they're gonna do if they're gonna move back into the there is another switch back there if I'm not mistaken that they can move back in there on but we'll see I'm right, gonna run around this train I guess yep
back out onto the other. Okay, it looks like they're crossing. There's a crossover up there. Yeah, it looks like they're getting back out on the main. Boom, we'll see what happens next. Oh, I like that shot. That's cool. Make a video capture out of that. All right, I was mistaken again. They are not back out on the main line. Just on the uh, yard track over there to the right where the other cars are spotted. All right, well, I'm not sure what's going on here. They came up here, going back up towards the crossing there. And uh, stopped for a while. I was, uh, a few weeks ago, I was given a radio with all these channels programmed into it, but and a, char a charger and everything, but I uh, can't get the batteries to charge. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe it looks like the right charger, but uh, I don't know. Maybe there's just something off the charger. But I know that it had the work channels. It had the road channels. It had all the, all the UP uh, BNSF channels. It was, uh, really, it's really cool. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But I wish I had it because... I'd be able to hear exactly what they're doing. All right, they cut that all loose. All right, well, they... Oh, they spotted some of the boxcars. Back in there. They just needed, I guess they just needed to rearrange them or something. As I said, I'm always astonished. Really annoys me that the charger doesn't work on that uh, radio too, because that would certainly help me keep track of their movements. So all the uh, boss cars that they picked up, they <laughs> dropped back off again. some cars back in there. This gentleman here looks like he's headed back over to the main line. And they are leaving the cars that they moved around and pulled out from up there earlier, back on that side track.
gonna do next. Here. We're going to, and he just lined the other end of the crossover. This one's already lined. Both reverse to go out through the crossover, back out onto the main line. Didn't grab his train. Maybe they're, I don't know. I'm, st I gotta stop guessing because they're doing everything except what I think they're gonna do. That is Highway 99 next to us there. It would appear that they are headed back to town. If they were going to pick up the rest of their train, they, I would think they would have run around it while they were already on this track over here to the right, on the yard track. Well, I drove into town, picked this guy up, coming into the yard. And he is over on the uh, number one track. That's the yard office there. certainly don't know what their plan is with him being over there but anyway there he goes by the Bakersfield yard he's approaching you see the tracks over there on the wine off there to the upper part of the frame that's the uh, BNSF Tracks. This is Kern Junction. We got some welders working up here. A couple of guys I know saw them drive by me and wave. I think they were waving at me. <laughs> no, they were waving. Yeah, I don't know where that guy's going. I don't know why they're running him all the way out there. Doesn't make any difference. That's what they're doing. All right, well, that will conclude my uh, late morning and early afternoon. It is 1.30 right now was about I don't know noon or so when I saw him going out of town so the whole thing didn't take very long and Laredo's only uh, I don't know 10 or 12 miles north of Bakersfield so it wasn't a long trip but uh, anyhow uh, the reason I'm doing this at the end I know I usually don't do this but uh, I know that I've shot the locals switching I know that a few people have said uh, hey more switching uh, I'm only privy to a couple of switching trains uh, the SJVR does some switching it's hard for me to catch them 
I generally know when the UP is going to be doing their stuff, but my question is to all of you is would you like to see more switching in these same places? Uh, there's not a lot of different stuff they do around here, but uh, I don't know. It's been, gosh, I think a year and a half or so since I shot the uh, Famosa local switching. I know that when I was with uh, Steven and Stan out there at... Uh, uh, Famosa that day. I think I shot some stuff out there that day. I know I shot a lot of stills But uh, anyway, if you want to see more switching stuff, even though it's pretty much in the same places Let me know and I'll make the time to come out here and do it. It's not very far to go and I don't have to drive much I just stop here and watch them do their thing. So let me know here are the URLs To my PayPal and my patreon if you can help the channel out that way. I'd sure appreciate it Keep shooting me the ideas. Drop me comments below. Shoot me an email at motorpoet59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. And we will see you all later.